We are standing northwest of Auckland in a paddock and we have one of the world's leading automation companies for laboratories right here in rural New Zealand. You're on a farm doing bleeding edge technology in your tractor shed. Yes, so to keep all the tractors out and trying to make this as a nice place to work as possible. And it started with deciding to become self-employed. I was inspired by my father. When he came out from Holland to New Zealand, he never worked for a boss in his life. Originally we started off trying to do robotics and then worked into software as well. We've generally looked to the customer and figured out what they need and then designed to, to suit that. What are the problems that you're solving? We started core in the meat industry, which then leads to sort of the dairy side, and then from that we've gone into other laboratories. It's taking a process that a human would be doing um, repetitively and automating it. Some of them can be really complex. You can spend weeks trying to come up with the best idea. The customer has a brilliant idea, and that's up to us to piece it together as Lego in essence. It's very much a journey. Can we do it as pure and as perfect as we want it to be and go over budget? Or do we back off a little bit for the sake of meeting the estimation and the customer's deadline requirements? And so there's a bit of a balance always in the air. Tell me a little bit about who the customers are. What's the reach? We have customers in Australia, Europe, Asia, as well as New Zealand. We first started exporting to Europe in 2002. We've reached a point where we've got some really solid concepts for new systems that we'll be developing in 2017 and 2018. And I think we're positioned really well to be competitive in that industry. How come is it that a New Zealand company is able to bet so high and compete in these really large markets. I think we can be quite fast and flexible and don't hold on to our ideas too tightly. We're very open-minded, hungry to learn and really motivated to get out there and do what we do best. The number of uh, applications we have for one job is enormous, but it takes a very certain person who can do what we do the projects that we're working on. It talks to the hardware as well as the software. So making something like that needs a niche person because that is a niche market itself. We allow people some scope to fail in, in some ways. So you, you let people try things out and you learn from any mistakes. It's like a dream job and you're doing it in a shed out absolutely, on the farm. Absolutely dream job. The amount of people I talk to from time to time, oh, what do you do? Oh, I'm a robotics engineer, I build robots. You know, you can actually do that for a job. Yeah, and I get paid to do it. Do you have kids? Yes, I do. What do you tell him? What does Dad do? Daddy plays with robots. The opportunity to be self-employed is to make something. Are you still making things? And owning your own business, you end up paying other people to do the stuff that you like doing and we've built up an amazing team over time and being at the bleeding edge of technology is great to make something work and to see it run. We're all about supporting communities, businesses, inspiring people. We really appreciate your support. Come and join our movement. Give us a thumbs up. We would love to bring you more of these.